917-918. Tariq Skubal and the Tigers, big favorites for the Tigers at minus 175. Taking on Luis, the funky cold Medina at plus 155. And those Oakland Triple A's, total of 7.5 flat across the board at minus 110. Uh, Jay, let's go to you here. Look, I... Uh, I was close to putting the play that you put. I like the over seven and a half here, strictly because Luis Medina is absolute hot garbage on the mound. No, I don't want to jinx this, jinx this too much because, of course, now Luis Medina is going to come out and pitch a no-hitter. But look, this was one that I kind of added on. And again, shout out to base winner for having, you know, he had Detroit on the sheet. I looked at the numbers. And here's what we're getting, a minus 130 on the run line in the first five, but we're getting plus 110 on the double result. I think the Tigers, you know, I don't think their lineup's great, but they have a better lineup than do the A's. They profile better uh, against Medina than the A's do against Scooball. Scooball has been terrific recently. He's really come back for the uh, Tigers here. I have him as the, it's the second, or excuse me, it's the lowest weighted OPS on the card today. It's the best matchup I have by my numbers, pitcher versus lineup. I'm going to take that double result at plus 110. But, Jay, I like this over 7.5 quite a bit at minus 110 as well. What do you got? Yeah, uh, I, I said it was a Dodger game last night. I watched the Tigers. I actually didn't mind their offense. Uh, Kerry Carpenter stood out for me. He was batting cleanup last night. I um, was really impressed with him. I was surprised how fast he was running the bases. Um, oh, did you but, see me running the bases? I did not. Speed. I mean, I saw the clip. Yeah. You know, you know, you know the thing about – Kerry Carpenter, guys, he's only just begun. He's only <laughs> just begun. We've only just begun. Oh, uh, that makes me want to watch Happy Gilmore all over again. Okay, go ahead, Jack. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, the 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 Tigers might slightly be on the come up and have a little bit of a core building for for next season. Um, you know, they 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 didn't look that bad. I think you could probably lay. The money line with them if you really wanted today because it's it's the a's you know like like what are they are they going to finally show us something they haven't shown us all season or whatever but no no play for me on the the, the side i went with the total over seven and a half uh i think tigers probably probably get this done um oakland oakland can score a couple runs here and there <clears throat> Tigers should should do the heavy lifting, but uh, yeah, just give me over seven and a half here today. Base winner, the A's run differential this year is minus 300, and they've been outscored by 329 runs. Remember just a couple weeks ago, we were saying the Royals were the worst team now, not the A's. Not anymore. The Royals, five games better than the A's. Oh, they made a run there. Wow. I think Yeah, I think we're both on the Tigers here. Scoopballs look fantastic, right? The model's got to love it. He's he's really good by my numbers. In fact, he's he's number two in baseball. If you take that strikeout percentage, uh, walk percentage and ground ball rate over the last 17 and you say, well, gosh, all baseball hipsters are aghast. Is he better than Snell? Is he better than Cole? Is he better? He's not better than Strider. Strider's number one. But I, I think if you look at, at some of these numbers, uh, particularly if you look at his last four starts, he's got 34 strikeouts against just five walks. 53% ground ball rate. I mean, that's really, really solid. Uh, 35% strikeout rate, 5% walk rate. I mean, I don't know. This guy's this guy's up and coming. You know, there was some concern for me about playing him on the road uh, where his splits are much better at home. If you look at his splits, he's, he's seven strikeouts, uh, median split at home uh, over uh, the last 365 days. He's seven strikeouts at home, one walk. 50% ground ball rate, but away he's not bad either. He's 5.5 strikeouts, one walk, and a 54% ground ball rate. I'll take that today against Funky Cole Medina. The the thing I can say about Medina is in his last four starts, he's got as many strikeouts as walks. Not a good thing. Mm. And uh, although I, I, I may incorporate Medina into a Funky Cole Medina base winner rap, uh, mm. I've actually written about four lines about of that song. I think it, I think it could work actually. Other than that, he's a terrible pitcher. Uh, both of these, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, you know, he would he would be the worst player to ever have a base winner rap named after him, right? Like by far. Yeah. Well, maybe you have the you have the the upper end of the scale there with Strider, and then you would have the lower end of the scale with Funky Cole Medina. But uh, I'm playing mm -hmm. against him with with a really solid pitcher, and, and a team that's really kind of like Jason said has has shown something over the last yeah. 
month of the season. So, I mean, why not? And the, the worst you can do, and this happened with Snell, is like if you play him on these first five parlays and the A's don't score, the worst you can do is push it. So uh, let's go with it. Let's go with let's go with the, the Tigers and the Braves, uh, base winner parlay, plus money. I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, I could beatbox that one. He's absolutely right. A uh, couple things in the chat box. Scott D says he only loves base winner, which – is great. I mean, I love base winner too, but I'm honestly offended. You know, I'm a competitive guy and I'm easily hurt. Uh, my he ego doesn't like that. He just did that to, si- to incite you. That's all. He, everybody, <sighs> how can you I'm not? I'm already on edge. I'm already on edge. I have to fly today. You know, I've been going through matters of the heart and heartbreak here in a small town. Like, get me a break here, people. But no. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like screwball today. I like the Tigers today. And the reason I like the double result, again, it's 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 a pricing thing here. The money line in the first five innings is minus 180. The run line in the first five innings is minus 130. And the double result is plus 110. That's math that adds up. You're getting getting the percentages there. So for purposes of this show, the second leg of the base winner parlay along with the Braves' first five is the Tigers' first five. And that's at plus 118. I'm going to take the Tigers' double result at plus 110. And Jay is going to take the over seven and a half, which I really like in this one as well, at minus 110. All right. 